Hey there gamers, how you going? Uh, today we're going to be opening up a box of Silver Tempest, an ETB. For those of you that don't know what an Elite Trainer box is, I'll show you what's inside it today, and that way you can get an idea of what you'll be looking at in the future. I'll just show it to this camera here so you can see quite clearly. So, in this we get 8 packs of the Silver Tempest set. We get a set of deck sleeves with the Vulpix on the back. And we also get a full set of energies for building a deck with, as well as some dice and damage counters and whatnot. But you also get this handy little guide here, which gives you a complete guide as to what's actually in the set. That way you can see everything you'll, you could possibly find and potentially keep track of your set. Uh, this set's over a year old now, but I uh, figured we'd open this one up and see how we go. Potentially even try and pull that alternate Art Lugia that uh, seems to be what everyone wants to chase. Before we start, um, we have actually just hit 100 followers on Instagram which is pretty handy and uh, the hundredth follower has actually been my brother Luke and he asked me what his prize was he asked if you get a free Charizard so uh, never let it be said that I'm not a man of my word here is your free Charizard Luke you'll be getting a Charizard EX from the shiny treasure EX set so enjoy that one and now let's get started so this silver tempest set that alternate art Lugia I mentioned before is uh, quite the chase card and would be a very big pull if we could pull that one out tonight but uh, we'll just see how we go it's a very hard card to get as you can imagine hence it being the chase card but, uh, so yeah this is our box as we unbox it slide this off to the side pop that down and then here we have our little player's guide has a whole heap of information on playing the game and whatnot. As I was saying before, it also then has the checklist, so you can check off the set as you're going, if you feel like you want to do that. Now let's get this box open, see what we can find. Take the top off, and I know we've got a couple of spots here with different things. So here's a V-Star promo thing, which is handy. And then uh, as for the rest of it, I'm very good at taking these packs out very cleanly. Let's just get them out a couple at a time. Okay, that should be all of our Silver Tempest packs. Now we've got the dice just here, damage counter dice and whatnot can come in handy. We've also got the condition counters for poison and burn conditions. Status counters. And then in this side, we've got the code card for the box here. We've also got these extra sleeves here, these Baltic sleeves. Pretty cool. And we've got our energies all in a pack here for building a deck with. We've got the deck sleeves with the Volpix artwork on them. Pretty cool. That should be it. That's it from our box. So we'll pop that to the side. And we'll pop the rest of it down as well. Because we don't need any of that for the moment. We just want our packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. All right. So we're going to dive into these and see what we can get. Start off with this Lugia artwork pack. Cards are sitting right at the top there, so I might open from the bottom. Let's see how we go. Sorry, I don't talk to this camera very much. I'm busy focusing on what I'm doing. Now, we're not going to look at the code cards on these, we're just going to rip through because we'd like to keep it a surprise, wouldn't we? So I'll just pop them down like that. And let's go straight through this pack to start with. Ralts there, we've got our first hollow, reverse hollow Neuvern, and then we've got a regular Neuvern. Well, there you go. That seems to happen quite a bit with me with this set. I always seem to open the same card in the rare slot as the one that I get in the reverse hollow slot, but that's fine. Grass Energy, we've got a Jinx, Topapex, and Professor Labbit. So let's put them to the side. We'll come back to that later. <coughs> this one we've got a Reg Le Reggie Leggy artwork on the pack. Let's find out what we can get out of this one. Oh, I struggle with these packs sometimes. Sorry about that. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay. 
There are some other very cool cards in this set as well, so you don't just have to be chasing a Lugia, you can get multiple cards that are really quite cool. Let's put that over there, and this time we're going to do the trick. We're going to go one, two, three, four from the back, bring them to the front, start our energy off at the front. So we've got a light, lightning energy. I'm just going to put these all to the side because it's sort of irrelevant. Clay Doll, we've got a Worker, a Sunflora, a Beldum, a Stunfisk, we've got a Volpix, a Snow Runt, a Dratini, and there's our first trainer gallery hit. So we've got the Jinx, pop that one over to the side for sleeving, and then we've also just gotten the Articuno in our rare slot, so it's a nice hollow Articuno there. Very nice card, I really do like that one. I'm gonna pop that just up here, and we'll keep that ready to go to the side. Quickly put a sleeve, just a regular old penny sleeve on the Jinx to start with, just so that we keep that one in nice condition. Alright, we'll move on to the next one. So this is the Reggie Drago artwork, so we'll see what we can get out of this one. Oh, same again, struggling with these packs. I don't know why. Okay, same again, we'll remove this code card. We'll go one, two, three, four from the back. And we've got a fighting energy, a oh, palisand. We've got a dragon there to go with that Dratini from before. There is a Dragonite that's pretty cool in this set as well. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't mind pulling that. Toxic Croak. We've got a Smeagol. We've got an Esper, which looks like a little knitted doll in the artwork. Very nice. Another Dratini. <coughs> we've got a Chin Chow. We have a Metatite, we have a Don Fan Reverse Hollow, and then an Armeldo as our rare. Okay, so no huge pulls yet, but trainer artwork Jinx was pretty cool, but we'll keep moving through. So we're going to go to the Vulpix artwork next. Let's see if we can pull something here. Still got five packs to go, there still could be plenty in there. We'll just wait and see, I suppose. Okay, we're going to pop that there, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four from the back again. This time we've got a fire energy. Very nice, that's very off center. I don't know if you can see that there. The side here is very, very small, and this side here is very, very large. So hopefully the whole pack's not like that if we get a good hit, otherwise that'd be very disappointing. So let's go through. So we've got a Lance, we've got an Archon, we have a Clang, a Growlithe, a Clink to go with our Clang. We have a Whalmer, a Dratini, a Feebas, and then we've got a Ferrothorn Reverse Hollow, and then we've got a Superior V-Star as our hit there, so that's not a bad card there at all. Very happy with that one. We'll put that one in a sleeve as well now as well, just put it to the side. Just so that we're looking after these cards. And pop that up there with our Jinx. Very good. All right, I'm actually going to save the Lugia artwork for last because I really like Lugia and I think that if there's any chance of there being a Lugia, it's going to be in that artwork, even though that makes no sense whatsoever. So we'll give that a try anyway. So we're going to go the Reggie Lecky again. Okay, so same again. We're going to not look at the code card and hope for the best. And then we're going to go... One, two, three, four from the back. Cool, so we've made ourselves a V-Star card. That's fine. We've got a Nine Tails. We've got a Leafy Camo Poncho. Pretty sure you can get a gold rare of that in this set, which would be a bit of a crappy gold rare, but that's fine. If you get one, you get one. Gold rares are gold rares. Uh, we've got a Slurpuff. We've got a Relicanth. We have a Horlucha. We've got a... Oh, I don't even know what that is. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh well, whatever that is, that's what it is. <laughs> We've got a Pet Lil, we have a Pikachu, we have a Reverse Hollow Amoongus, and then we've got a More Wild V. That is a nice artwork on that card there. So we've got a couple of hits now, which is good. Moving along all right. I actually don't know if there is a set amount of hits you can get from these sort of boxes, but already we've got two and a third one technically with that Jinx. All right, we're gonna go to the Reggie Drago artwork, the last of these. Got three packs remaining. Alright, so same 
again. We're not looking at these code cards. And then we're going to turn this over and go one, two, three, four from the back. And we're going to start with a steel energy or metal energy. I think it's steel. That's probably the best way to go. We've got a quad stone. We've got a more pico. Uh, capturing aroma. We have a Pikachu. Growlithe. Clink. Whalmer. Dratini again keeps popping up. Reverse holo low punny. And we've got a holo rare metagross. Not a bad card as well. That uh, works quite nice. Just a regular holo though, that's fine. You can't get a hit on every pack, otherwise everyone would buy every single one of these boxes. Okay, we've got a Volpix, the last second last pack, our last Volpix pack. Let's hope for a nice big pull on this one. Same again, no co-card, we don't want to see you. One, two, three, four from the back. And then we've got a water energy. We've got a V-Guard energy, another one I believe you can get as a gold card in this set. Uh, we've got a Hypno, we've got a Honchcrow, a Solacis, a Zubat, Elgium, we've got a Fungus, we've got a Sandy Gas, we've got a Reverse Holo Fletchling in normal, and we've got a non holo Miss Magus as our rare card of this pack. Cool, another nothing too fancy, but that is fine. Very last pack of this set, the Lugia. This is the one that I was hoping would have the Lugia in it, so let's find out. Let's hope so. <laughs> it's playing hard to get. down. Uh, I have a feeling we're just not going to get there tonight, but you never know. We'll power through this, one, two, three, four, and we'll see if we can just get lucky with one last hit. So we've got the Psychic Energy, a Whale Lord, a Raichu, we've got a Torocat, a Feebas, a Vulpix, a Snowrunt, a Fletchling, Ferroseed, we've got a Reverse Hollow Lilligant, and finish off with another non holo rare Frostlass. And that is it for our box there. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That just shows you what you can get out of an ETB. So, we've had three hits technically. We've got a V, a V Star, and we've got a Trainer Gallery card. So, there are some decent hits you can have in there. There's a few hollows in there as well. And then, obviously, you get the booklet, you get the, uh, the dice, you get the condition coins, the deck sleeves, all that stuff on top. And I'll just quickly run through these uh, code cards if anybody is after these code cards. I certainly don't need them. As I said, this set's been around for over a year now, but uh, it's still quite a popular set. People still, still, still seem to like it, and uh, you can still readily find these products pretty much anywhere you want. So you just gotta shop around and find them. Anyway, thank you very much for that, guys, and uh, hope you enjoy your night. See you later.